Hello everyone and thank you for tuning into the IT Knowledge Base YouTube channel. I am thrilled to have you here. Whether you are a seasoned IT pro or just starting your tech journey, this channel is your go-to source for all things IT related. From troubleshooting tips to deep dives into the latest technologies, we have got you covered here. Today I will share with you all the top 10 most dangerous and unsafe Linux commands that can also destroy your systems and your career. So it is good to know about this command so that in the future you use any of them and you better know the consequences. This is my Ubuntu Linux machine and this could be any of your favorite Linux machine. Command number one rm-rf. If you execute this command like this, what it does, this command does nothing other than remove everything in your system from the root directory. This is very dangerous. After executing this command, you will not be able to boot your computer or server and data recovery also become very hard. Just hit enter. And now you can see the consequences. This Linux machine is almost dead. Now you cannot do anything. Your cursor is also unresponsive. You cannot even open the terminal. Now you have only option to shut down this computer and recover all your sensitive files and data from the backup. Or if you have already taken a snapshot, if this is a virtual machine, you can quickly restore it in your previous version. Command number two, it is a bash function which calls itself recursively. If you execute this command like this, this type of command is a fork bomb, which creates a recursive function, which means that it spawns processes until the system is overbuilt. Let's open the system's health utility first. To check the overall status, everything looks normal. Now execute this command and go back your system health monitor. Now you can see CPU is spikes. Here it is. This is a very dangerous command. After this command is executed, it is going to exhaust all resources in your server, which will lead complete shutdown. Control C to stop this process. Now you cannot stop this process or simply close the terminal. Even though if you close your terminal, your system is still overwhelmed. Now you have only option left. Just shut down this computer. Command number three, chmod. If you execute this command like this, this command is going to change the permissions of every file and directory in your system, which means anyone can read, delete, edit, and execute any file in your whole system. Before executing this command, open another terminal. Check the permissions of files and folders. Some symbolic link have full permissions. Some folder have limited permissions. All the permissions are different. You can see no permissions are same. Now let's execute this command. This is also a very dangerous because every user has permissions to do everything the system admin can do. Now check the permissions again. This is the impact of this command. Command number four, rm-rf slash home directory. If you execute this command like this, what it does, it deletes everything in the home directory which is the home of every users in the system. This is very dangerous because it is deleting everything in your home directory. It means all user data will be gone. Just hit enter. Now check the home directory. There is no home directory. Now all the users and their home folders, everything has been deleted. Command number five, shutdown hyphen H now. 
If you execute this command like this, what it does, this command immediately shut down the system. Why it's dangerous? If you are working on the server, this will lead to system shutdown, which means all services that the server is offering will stop, which will lead to a chain reaction in a whole network environment. Hit enter. Command number six, kill hyphen nine space hyphen one. If you execute this command like this, what it does, this command sends the kill signal to all processes except the kernel. Hit enter. The serious outcome will be because even if you have backup ready, it will not start all services that were running at that time, which can lead to a problem. The serious outcome will be because even if you have backup ready, it will not start all services that were running at that time, which can lead to a lot of problems. Command number seven, wget to download malicious files from malicious website. Hit enter. What it does, this command downloads a file from some websites and execute it on the system. Why it's so dangerous? Because we not only download it from websites for which we are not 100% sure, but we also execute it even before checking its content or doing any analysis to make sure it is safe to run on the server. Here is the file content. Check the another example to download the file through wget. Now hit enter and here is the file. Command number eight, DD. The DD command is an extremely powerful Linux utility. It is commonly referred to as the disk destroyer, data definition, disk dump, or disk duplicator due to its immense power and ability to directly interact with block devices. If you execute this command like this, what it does, this command writes zeros to the entire hard drive. This is a dangerous command because it destroys all data on the specified drive and makes it super duper hard to recover data. Now open the another terminal, type df and check the available volume, dev sga3 and sga2. You can also write this command on sga3. Now you can see the impact of this command. It seems this Linux machine is crashed. I am unable to open any programs or utility, even though I cannot open the folder, I can't do anything. Now the only option I have left is to just power off this machine and restore everything from the backup because it destroys all data on the specified drive and makes it super duper hard to recover data. Command number nine, truncate. This command destroys your critical files or data. If you execute this command like this, First check your files and its size. We have a few number of files, Windows 11 text, password file and licenses key. If you execute this command like this, truncate hyphen S capital O and your file path. It's zero. Now type ls dash al. Now check the file size. It's set to zero. If you open this file, you have seen nothing. Now you have lost all the licenses keys. Type again, truncate, hyphen s, space zero, password file, hit enter. Repeat this command with a arrow key, type Windows 11 and hit enter. Now check the file size, all set to zero. You have lost this file. The only option is left with you is to recover it from your backup. Command number 10, tar czf. If you execute this command like this, what it does, this command tries to create a compressed archive of the entire file system or root. Why it's dangerous? Because it's writing an archive to a block device can override the content of the drive, potentially corrupting or destroying the file system and data. This is not a proper use of tar and can cause severe damage. Now what is the countermeasure or preventive measures? 
you have to understand the commands always ensure you fully understand a command before executing it especially those involving critical systems components you have to review commands always double check commands especially those involving file deletion or permissions changes limit privileges execute potentially dangerous command with minimal privileges or in a controlled environment to minimize the risk use aliases implement aliases to prevent accidental execution of destructive commands here is the example monitor system changes use tools to monitor and log changes to critical files and directories to detect and respond to unauthorized modifications last but not least test the command run potentially dangerous commands in a test environment before applying them to production systems by following this method you will most likely not make this kind of mistake in your systems or your company server all right that is all for the now thank you for watching and i look forward to sharing more of my journey with you all if you want to see more or some training content make sure you click that subscribe button click it so you don't miss it or if you have any issues or questions you can reach out to me and i'd be happy to help you out thank you